looks puny and thin, but she is our OPD physiotherapist. And so many patients, 165 patients in two years, only on bed this day, four to five. Four to six? Three to five. Three to five. But the entire team said, everyone said this will not work, but we couldn't just sit there. Our, we would get our uh, friends, there is funny calling me with your family. And uh, Ratna, would you like to just say what you did? The idea of Nina Foundation is to share what I had the privilege of. It's big. I'm sorry, I already have a mic. <laughs> so sorry. Milka. And Milka made me walk because she and Nina and myself and uh, everyone used to go trekking. And she knew what it means. That how can Ketna be inside the first floor house? And I think that was a game changer for me because after that, Dr. Jacob came on. Dr. Pradhan ideated about how Ketna can hop on the walker. And this was taught because I was willing to experiment. Uh, uh, I was adventurous. I had to go out and this was replicated to others. So Dr. Jacob would then teach others about, you know, climbing, etc. Et so thank you so much. This is all about courage. So I will just introduce Professor Fernandez, who is our chief guest, after I read the piece. Of the Mandrakers official visits to Toronto, they got and gifted me a book. 
empathy which I wish most citizens would possess. He creatively wrote, typed and emailed me the narratives with much clarity and speed. His sincerity, dedicated focus, involvement and prompt turnaround were indeed awe-inspiring. Shraddha and I were greenhorn batchmates like the rest of my batch was right there. We were all greenhorn batchmates at our very first job at the Times of in India way back in 1985. And we look so young. Absolutely. <laughs> An accomplished journalist, she's currently the executive editor at Worm magazine and has edited several coffee table books and, and also has been a part of publications like Feminum and Princeton. Shraddha surprised me with her interest and emotional investment in creatively editing the lives of a 25 ordinary people with fine injuries and presenting them as courageous warriors. Thank you so much. Her meticulous approach, calm demeanor and reliable outcome undeterred by the several proofing sessions deserves all my love, blessing and much help. Our baby has been in labor for over six months now and she has been multitasking with the professional work, sitting up late at night and working early in the morning to meet our various internal deadlines. Smilingly. Indeed, an honor for Team Meena Foundation and me personally to be guided by expertise this time. Shashi is an ex 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 extremely accomplished senior advertising commercial photographer with whom I connected thanks to ADAPT, earlier known as the Spastic Society of India, who promptly took up this challenge of an emerging concept, virtual photography. I had met him only once in 2019. After that, I just thought of each one of them, picked up the phone and I spoke to them. This is the universe converging and saying yes to Nina Foundation. The impressive results I yearn for all of you to be as he brought each narrative to life with his several years of experience and terrific composition. Sunita has been his partner and his associate for getting this out. So uh, thank you and God bless you, Sunita. Amazing. Our Youth House Nina Foundation's extremely devoted focus team, incidentally, all friends with disability. Nino Kevlani, the first Miss Wheelchair. Our friend, Sunita Sanjeevi, Bhavna Cheda, Madhu Singh, Rajeshri Patil. Rajeshri Patil comes from a small village in Chama. She is a peer mentor and rural head. And oh my God, since the time she was with us for the first final card injury camp, there Parina and all saw her. And today, she is peer the entire rural operations and there are so many, so many of them. And Rahil Sheikh, Bhavna, Rahil and Rajeshri, we miss you so much. Mohammed Sheikh assisted by Shabna. He is right here and you will hear him. He is our rehab mentor and his young talented daughter, we will all be coming up here, has done so much good work. We joined a team subsequently by uh, Yusufai, interviewed him, writing in Hindi, and his daughter Shabnam, translating it in English. In addition, I had a wonderful connect for team and volunteers, and my granny Zalak. Zalak is here. Uh, she is from Milan, and uh, again, I just thought of her and reached out, who helped with the copy proofing. For the last mile compiling proofing, uh, we have Mahima Sheikh Sethi, who is from Delhi. I'm also obliged and to the ever dependable expert designing and much more praise and young advertising team led by Dhawal Mehta, the founder of Create and also our co trustee. <laughs> Kindle Direct Copy.
have a feel about what Kindle is, how technology operates, because we are all print version of editors and we know proofreading and we know pagination, we don't know anything else. And as we stepped into this, they were really very helpful. Ankur Gupta, again a very good friend, he's a best-selling author on Kindle and a trailblazer of new technology, new publishing and new music coming on board as an honorary advisor. Right now he's in the US, but he is still selling his stuff and getting his feedback. So our e-book, which is going to be launched and inaugurated today by Honorable Professor Fernandez, is on Amazon.com, Apple iBooks, Rakuten, Kobo, whatever that is, <laughs> Barnes and Noble, Booksellers, Nook, Flipkart, and Payhill, with both an e-book and a hard copy version. All thanks to Mrs. Tejendra Srinivasan, who is based in Bangalore and still guiding us. He is our uh, book author coach. It would be amiss on my part not to mention a reticent, always preferring to remain behind the scenes, Meena Foundation's exemplary board of trustees. Dr. Ritin Pradhan, who is in UK. Dr. Bojraj, who is currently in Karchiroli. Dr. Jacob, who unfortunately couldn't be here because Mrs. Jacob is just undergone a brain surgery. Uh, God bless her and I'm sure she will recover. Dr. Parina Sumranwala, everyone knows and uh, thank you. And I sit here smiling and all happy thanks to her. Dr. Himanshu Doshi, uh, my, our brother-in-law, sorry, the, <laughs> I always say my brother-in-law and Dhawan Mehta, my brother, brother-in-law. They were all in the front line during the huge healthcare crisis that we and yet willingly exited to my personal request, request to pen their views. Reading their profiles, you will realize that the vibrancy and the vibe that our NGO reflects is because of a collective, eclectic persona. And last but not the least, I bow my head in deep gratitude to Major XPS Anwalia, the Fraternities Champion, who was a chairman, Indian Spinal Injury Center and who despite ill health, penned the forward to our book. And thanks to Dr. Chabra, who has always been a mentor. <laughs> However, despite the tales of injury and struggle, this book is no way weak. It's a motivational, inspirational book. It will make you realize that our friends with spinal cord injury have meager resources, live in dilapidated huts, with more than 60% to 80% of their limbs and organs non-functional, suffer from a lack of sensation, relationship woes, financial troubles, lack of food, mobility issues, and the usual rural problems. Yet, they wake up every day with a broad smile and hope in their hearts striving to fight and improve their life without lofty expectations. Our friends are happy, happy to be alive despite all the limitations and innumerable problems. Who knows, reading this book may, may make the way you, uh, you think and the way you feel that how blessed you are. Um, thank you indeed for walking with us on this adventurous, tremendous journey and spreading sunshine. Uh, we also have, uh, they said it about Nina Foundation and you will hear some of them here. Your consistent support and kindness has enabled us to do what would have been considered impossible. So thank you and I bow before all of you before I invite Dr. Fernandez to do the inauguration. and my professor from Jamnalal Bajaj Institute, 
from 1987-88 and Professor Fernandez used to teach me architect. But over the years, uh, over the years he has constantly been in touch with us and our family. And he has taught me, he's told me to say too many things. His bio is here that he was, you know, past president, Bombay Management Association, assistant director, various uh, institute of management here. But I would like to share with you what I have learned from him. I have learned from him to be a conscious keeper. I have learned from him to follow a path of ethics and to know the fine dividing line be between what is right and wrong. You know, our gut always tells us when we are in organizations, in places, shortcut karlo, no. I think what he has made me as a human being uh, is because of this long association. And not only about books, about uh, various things, but you know, he has participated in Nina Foundation. He has come with us, uh, Yusuf Bhai Yadir, uh, to Vaidya Hospital to see Pune. He has uh, uh, gone to Pune at the Chaitanya Hospital where he plays. I just sent him an email. You know, when somebody says I need a job, then I think of someone and I connect because there are so many things on a day to day basis. But when he and Mrs. Fernandez went to uh, Pune, they met Swati Jadav. And not only that, you know, the way uh, you greet, nobody will know that he's such a well-known, honored uh, person. He's also very active in the area local management in Bangla. Quietly, nicely, and I feel I'm privileged to have conversations with him, to meet him, to be on the same Bombay Management Association review and it actually shaped my destiny. Because when I was studying in Bajaj, he just told me to write a one-page note about how you would change PMA review. I was just a young 25-year-old student also with, uh, and also working, and I did that and then he tells me, you met me at Tom Boy, remember, he was a Tom Boy. And then he says, okay, Kitna, this is excellent, all the points. You are on board, execute it. So nowadays, whenever anyone gives me an idea, I follow that. Wonderful, do it. <laughs> so thank you so much. And maybe have you unveiling our third book, the first book, you, Mr. Vieira, Mr. Vindrapal Singh, all of you were here, quite a few of my friends were here. Second book was by Dr. Parina Sumranwala, a book on homeopathy, temperament type. This is a third book. Not bad, right? Who says we are the same? <laughs> Challenge. <laughs> <laughs>
just take a one group picture please. And there are so many else because as he said, this was a virtual thing, right? So, you know why they have to do that? Sure. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
the story, then you begin to realize they have they have dreams. The stories reflect that they want to become teachers, they want to start a shop, they want to study the computer. And how will those dreams be realized? And therefore, I think Nina Foundation is doing a fantastic job in giving them hope, which overcomes the despair which they must be feeling in the situation in which they are, they are in. I think that this book is a book which talks about their lives, is listening to them. And if we are to help the people who are struggling about injuries, we must understand what are their aspirations. And that is why this book is so going to be in my opinion, the cause of spinal cord injury will be much further by this book, which we have now released. I'd like to say a few words about Ketna, since she said a lot about me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ketna described herself as an author, a researcher, a thought leader, which she all is. She has got tremendous skill. Because these all reflect her skill. But what I think is not being said in that is what about her values? Her values of compassion, of care, of making lasting friendships. I think those are the values which Ketna really has lived by. And, I, and before I conclude, I would just like to say there are one or two things which I have studied about Ketna. Ketna has worked both in the corporate sector for many years, as well as being an academic. Wherever Ketna goes, I notice that it's not, when she goes to an organization, she not only contributes to that, but she gets to see equally at home with the envy of the company and the pewns in the company. Now, she did this all over the place, including association that I was connected with. So she rang me up and tells me some days ago, oh, how is Parmar? Parmar, Jatin Parmar I met now about 10 years ago in BMA, 15 years ago. Where is Jatin Parmar? I would never know. But she's keeping track of Jatin Parmar. And she's keeping track of so many other people. She's in touch with them. And that is how Ketna has built up a big army of supporters and admirers. Because all of you in this room have come here because you have believed in a cause. And that belief in a cause has been inspired by Ketna. And that is what all of us are inspired by when we meet her. So Ketna, you have a large number of supporters and fans all over because of the type of person you are. And I would like to conclude by saying, by remembering what you said when you accepted the Helen Keller Award. Ketna accepted the Helen Keller Award some years ago. And in her speech she said, you must have a good heart, you must have a good mind, and you must have a good soul. And I think that is what Ketna has not only had, but has been, she's had a heart which beats more, a mind which is more active, and the soul which she said is of Nina. She said, I will be guided by my sister Nina's soul. And I think that spirit of Nina's soul is what is the inspiration for Ketna. So Ketna, thank you.
bringing all together into a book. So we have our three experts, Air Commodore Mr. Nitin Sate, Shraddha Ji, and Mr. Shashi Nair. I would like to invite you, and take my joins me in inviting you to the dais, and just telling us very briefly that what was your experience behind the scenes while working on this book. Please, two minutes each. Very briefly, just tell us about how you felt, what it was like. It was enough. Okay, three minutes. <laughs> Whatever changes you want to make, you can make to it. 
and uh, we can go on. So I thought she'd give me one or two stories, you know. But as soon as I used to finish one, she used to send one more down the internet back to me and say, Iske upar bhi likho. And then that's how this whole uh, thing started and I ended up writing, I think, 13 or 12 or 13 stories out of these 25. Uh, it was great fun uh, interacting with all these ladies and gentlemen who are back in the field in Maharashtra. Most of them are, of course, in Maharashtra. And uh, there was so much of motivation from them for me also to write this particular thing. Um, I just hope that uh, this, you know, this uh, the reason that for writing this book uh, catches the momentum that it needs to. It needs to. Uh, you're all ambassadors sitting here who should actually go out and kind of spread the word around about how and what we can do uh, to the paraplegics in our country. But just two quick ones before I leave. Uh, there are two more initiatives that I've taken. I've uh, contacted 12 or 13 schools, major schools in Jaipur, Jodhpur, Delhi, Bombay, uh, uh, pretty big schools, and uh, we are asking the students of 10th, 11th classes to connect with paraplegic uh, uh, people and they're going to get connected with their family, with their family and they're going to write a story on each of these paraplegics. And the, each of these schools is going to now publish a book on 13 to 15 paraplegics in all these places. So we'll have 13 books uh, that are going to come out uh, very soon. Only Mithim could have done this because the network at DPS, we had a Zoom call, young students, six standards, and we want that sensitization to happen from, and uh, I think you just mentioned about narrators of courage, and they've already come up with the title of the book, Hasla. Hasla, we're going to call it Hasla, and you're going to help us out with, with another initiative in Pune, uh, some ex-servicemen, army officers, and us, we have started uh, something called Ghar, where uh, we have got uh, a three pillar listing where, where we have a commodity home which is paid for and uh, there is one uh, for the paraplegic ladies only uh, a shelter and for little girls who have been uh, who have been parents. so that has started last week it's come up so we are going to get uh, Rina to help us uh, you know, set up uh, uh, thinking Pune also so thank you very much for having me here and thank you for allowing me this much time and it will be wonderful association with Mina and I hope it continues long and long and long till the time of life. Thank you. Thank you.
And she mentioned that she was working in this book, and I said, if you read anything, she said, you know, I'm more than happy to help all of us who are working from home, and working from home, your schedules are anyway out of her. And that's how I came on board after their work had been done. The narratives that came to me, came to me with text and images, both very well done. And reading their stories honestly, it opens your eyes. I mean, when you read the book, either in the E. Kimball version or in the print version, which we are working on now, there are so many names apart. Sunita's name is familiar, Rajeshi Pantil, who is not here today. But names of even the 25 individuals in the rural condition that in an interview have spoken and you've shot, and I have not met them or spoken to them. But in spite of not meeting them, people like Ashwini Kalkate, she was on a journey to a temple from, I think, Pathari to, uh, to Pathari to celebrate the birth of her son. And on the road, on her return, the, their car was rammed into by a truck. Ashwini's husband passed away. She suffered a spinal cord injury. And at that point, Tanmay, their son, they didn't realize that something had happened to him. It was realized only one year later when he didn't grow up as a child would normally do. Tanmay also had suffered a spinal cord injury. That story, what they must have gone through, it's, and I don't think any of us can imagine. Ashwini passed away a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Similarly, I'm the one Rahul Balankar who dreams of becoming a cricketer. His story, there's so many of them. Samruti Patel, who was hit by a buffalo. Manisha Chine, who fell down from a log. Devanya, who fell down, reached out to grab his mobile in the moving train and fell off. Then you had Archana Rathra tumbled from a lot in a house, and I think Manisha fell from a mango tree. 25 years story that just makes you think, makes you feel, makes you empathize. And I just thought to the like, beginning, I think 2001, and I had had a very minor spinal cord injury, and I had reached with two small kids, reached a state of panic. And Dr. Shekhar Pujraj, who was my doctor, and is still my doctor, had calmed me down. And it's incredible, and there's not a note of despair in what has been written, what they've said in their quotes. I mean, there are no words to explain. I mean, even as a writer, and it's fine, I find it easy to say what I feel. Every time I talk to her, I come back with something new. And also, I'd like to just remember Major Aung earlier, who was written a forward in this book. He also passed away earlier. And he has been a tribute to what he's written. And they're not ordinary people, they're extraordinary people. For me, it's been a privilege and an honor to be a part of this venture. We've done Zoom calls, <laughs> tried to try and edit it, sharing screen, a lot of stuff. And it's still, honestly, a work in progress because we bought out the e-book earlier. And with so many editors here, I'm sure that uh, all of us would edit it differently, but it's a labor of love. And I would just like to say that I'd like to salute each and every person who's here and who's made all this. It's quite an emotional journey.
Founder, Victor Founder. She took the major brand because as a photographer I never had an experience of how to handle this whole situation because to me everything was against me, let me honestly tell you. The thing is, she said this is not possible, that is not possible, this is not possible, this is initially, okay? To, uh, to make me realize it was not, uh, uh, it was not uh, that she didn't want things to happen. She personally told me because I had very little understanding being a commercial photographer. Most of the time, we had everything under control. Now, she says we will have to go this way. In the initial talk, I was wondering how now this whole thing will take up. Then suddenly, I find her the most, uh, what you call, the real army of mine, one-man army. And I tell her, can we manage this, this, this things this way and get these things done? She says, yes, we can try this. And believe me, you, that the problem first was the language, the barrier. Okay? Every part of Maharashtra spoke different languages and our Marathi was not good enough for them to understand. And the other problem was the mobile that they are going to carry there. The mobiles, whatever model we didn't know, some model she said, this is the model that he has. Okay? Or that, that somebody in the home of the person has, then I have to find out what is the quality of image that mobile can make. Now, after that, once I understand and I realize that it's possible, then we decide how to go around the shoot. Now, this, this has to be linked with the story. We can't just shoot somewhere inside a room and all the pictures look the same. The story is told to us, then we have to scout for that location. Now, in the scouting of this location, there's a major concern. These people cannot travel all around the place with their limitations. Now, that location, the other problem is that we can't have the connections, the network, the network issues are there because visually we have to control only if it's possible only through network. Now, there are other problems like when the network suddenly might go in between the shoot, the light might change. It, we might come back because then the phones are not reachable. She is desperately trying and I am on wait and then she comes back after half an hour. Now the uh, network is on. This man is able to be connected. But then we say, I tell her, now let him show me the place again. The light is gone. Now then we need to find out another day where the similar light conditions are available and whether that person is available. Now the problem comes is that person is available but there is some support system people to take them to that place is not available on that particular day. Or even if everything is decided, somebody don't turn up. The mobile has not come. The guy who is having the mobile has not turned up. And then we are asked to use some other mobile which is available there. And then the problem is when the communication is happening, we have to compose the picture by visually seeing and when they are sharing through that, uh, uh, what do you call it? WhatsApp, I click when I tell him to go a little down, go to your left, go to your right, now tell the gentleman to smile and that cannot be communicated, this guy will not communicate to him. I will communicate to the guy who is handling the mobile. Now I will have to tell him, tell him to smile or turn towards left, turn towards right, which she also does simultaneously. <laughs> and then we are all connected in the Zoom call situation through WhatsApp. And then finally what happens is this guy forgets. He shoots in the WhatsApp mode and then sends us pictures. Then we realize there is no resolution because the picture is shot on WhatsApp. We have to again tell him that it cannot be shot on WhatsApp, you have to shoot on the camera of the mobile. By then, sometimes the light is gone. <laughs> yeah, these were these traumatic situations. And, but having said that, I, I personally, I strongly felt the Almighty was with us in this good cause. And then this all saw the light at the end of the day. 
and once again without I profusely will thank her for all that support and system which made it possible. And the other concern was we were limited all pictures to look nice as you know as a as a photographer. I need to have my color grading etc to come in place, then only the picture takes off. But unfortunately there's situations where there are limited options of costumes available. In that case, if it doesn't, the harmony with the backdrop is not happening, then we prefer to take it back on Photoshop and uh, softwares and change the colors and sometimes composition, etc. I still remember there was one situation in a story which she mentioned when I met, there were two cows behind us there and then the cows were turning left, right and center the story we wanted to, he, I think he was connected to uh, do some cattle farming, etc. Yeah, and then we had to tell somebody to feed the cow so that the cow looks at us into the camera. <laughs> yeah. uh, otherwise the cow is to turn back and then uh, it was not, the picture was not happening and he could not understand why the cow has to be. <laughs> he used to tell us, you know, forget the cow. Uh, then we said, no, no, you just give us few minutes. The cow will look at us and things will happen. <laughs> and luckily that picture has, we have we have been successful in catching those pictures. Yeah, the, all the photographs are here. Yeah, okay. See the color harmony is uh, the brilliant. We change the color here and there. And the entire pictures are in one, one gradation. Can you skip to Prakash Anchor, the one with the cow? <laughs> Two cows. Yeah. Yeah. Next to that. Ha, that one. Oh, that's not Prakash, that's Chagan. Chagan Soro. Chagan, next to that. We heard how our warriors have gone beyond the break, broken the shackles. I think it has they've broken the more than the shackles, which is the brains. I think it really requires that grit and I must say patience, perseverance and passion. I was just telling Sunita like between she and me, you know, uh, as a team we've been together since more than 22 years now. So, hats off to our patients. I wouldn't have that kind of patience to think beyond, uh, you know, and Kesna's sort of favorite motto, out of the box. You know, so I wouldn't have ever thought of that. So, hats off to, and what a beautiful journey behind the scenes. 
Um, though all of us have been part of it in many ways, but when you hear it from the, the three you know, pillars, I must say, it is, it is reliving those behind the uh, scene moments. Now, we, we heard how it all started, who are the people behind it, who, how it has come today. But amongst us, we have the illuminaries, the stars, who can just add that touch by reading some specific, uh, 10 specific stories, just the experts of the narratives, that how, you know, the stories which we've already heard, but just a para about what the story was, and a little bit about what they feel about Nina Foundation. So, to begin with, I would uh, invite uh, Dr. Yakmi to come here, Mr. Belfer, and uh, Mr. Ashwin Shop is here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Could you please uh, come on the dais? So, so I have already given you all the narrative. Of courage, lives of spinal cord injured survivors in India, published by Nina Foundation, is a praiseworthy effort to focus on the plight of as many as 25 spinal cord injured friends. By providing a narrative on how each of them was encouraged to face the face life stoically, stoically and come out as a winner. Very happily, not only the life led by each of these friends, she called them friends, spinal cord friends. Is there anything else? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, very happily, not only the life led by each of these friends who are spinal cord injured have been described in a sensitive manner in each case, but the way they struggle to earn their livelihood is also highlighted by Nina Foundation, which has been in touch with each and every one of them regularly, this foundation, and helping them successfully in their rehabilitation. I have watched and observed the efforts of this NGO for a few years now and do wholeheartedly admire them for working tirelessly towards making sure that each of these friends with spine injury live a purposeful life, happily. Now I give you a poem which I have written up. You can say about Nina Foundation also about Kitna Mehta. It is appreciating essentially the dedicated work done by Dr. Ketna Mehta towards spinal cord injury rehabilitation. Now my 20 seconds which I have earned by saying so. You see, why do you write a poem? How do you write a poem? Can you write a poem about Ketna Mehta? It's not a joke. But then you have to be emotionally along with the theme of the thing. Then only you can. And you should be attached to it. And I think when I think of Ketna, I think of three words. One is happiness, the other is gratefulness, third is smiles. Happiness, she spreads happiness among those she calls friends and champions, you know, spinal cord injured ones. How much happiness and how much gratefulness she gets back. In this room, all people combined, she is the richest person here sitting, not in my room. Because she earns gratefulness by tons every day from all those people who you help. You don't know how much gratefulness you get. It's not easy to get that thing. So you will master that thing because you work for it. Lastly, smiles. I told her, you, you smile so naturally and spontaneously. You have to struggle to smile. <laughs> okay, come on. So now the point. Now I got you into the mood of the point. Mazroom and Urdu word, but you don't have to be a Javed actor for that. <laughs> so, Mazroom means Jinke Upar Jurum Hua Hai. I would say, imagine a, a young man, 20 years old, trying to cross the road, a car hits him, throws him away at spinal cord injury. Is se bada zulm kya ho sakta hai kisi ke upar, ke usko. Achha wala chal raha tha, do minute pahle, and this happened. So, Mazroom hai wo, majboor huye, I am talking of those friends and uh, 
चैंपियंस टूवर्ड्स अल्टरनेटली इंसान हो तुम पहचान हो उनकी एक तरह से यू दे आइडेंटिफाई विद यू आल्सो यू सॉर्ट ऑफ इंटरनल आइडेंटिफाई विद देम यू आर देयर पहचान उन्हें भरोसा है तुम उनके लिए खड़ी हो आई एम सेइंग ऑल दोस फ्रेंड्स एस्पायर कॉल्ड इन द इन द रूरल एरिया वेयर आवर चंडीगढ़ आई नो सो मच सो मेनी केसेस व्हिच यू हैव बीन हैंडलिंग दे ऑल बिलीव यू आर एट देयर बैक तुम्हें मदद के लिए चुना तुम बड़ी सखी हो दे थिंक यू आर देयर एल्डर सिस्टर यू विल डू समथिंग फॉर देम दैट्स व्हाट व्हाट दे थिंक ना मत कहना कहते रहना कर सकती हो आई एम सेइंग मेनी टाइम यू आर यू नो फील द डिमांड व्हिच इज बीइंग मेड बाय अ पर्टिकुलर पर्सन विल बी सो हाई विल आई बी एबल टू मैच दैट आई से प्लीज से यस वी विल ट्राई यस वी विल ट्राई दैट इटसेल्फ गिव देम हाफ द कंफर्ट हाथ पकड़ के उन्हें चलाना तुम शक्ति हो ऑलरेडी बी मेंशन दिस वर्ड शक्ति शक्ति एंड द विमेन आर अ रूप ऑफ शक्ति के रूप सो यू आर शक्ति सुनो चेतना मैंने लिखा हुआ है एक्चुअली इट इज नई चेतना नई ताजगी कभी ना कम हो यू आर फ्रेशनेस फॉर एवरीबॉडी लुकिंग एट यू वी फील फ्रेश देती रहना उन्हें सहारा तुम सक्षम हो यू हैव ऑल द पावर राइट उनकी झोली तुम खुशियों से भर सकती हो आई नो दैट आई एम वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट लास्ट पैराग्राफ इज अ लिटिल इमोशनल लेट मी फील कॉन्फिडेंट टू नरेट अपनी अपनी दौड़ में दुनिया भाग रही है एवरीबॉडी इज नो वेयर टाइम फॉर एनीबॉडी एल्स एवरीबॉडी इज रनिंग अराउंड विद सम मिशंस यू नो होड लगी है लगने दो क्या तुम्हें पड़ी है उनको भागने दो You, you are you are having your mission, so I am saying अपनी अपनी दौड़ में दुनिया भाग रही है, बोर्ड लगी है, लगने दो क्या तुम्हें पड़ी है, तुम तो परी हो, पंख लगे हैं, उड़ सकते हैं। Glider was not the support for you. That glider was not the right kind of wings for you. You have three solid wings. I mentioned in the beginning. Happiness, gratefulness, smiles. इससे बड़ा
Pushpa is one of the five siblings, was a bright young girl born in Morshi district of Amravati, Maharashtra. Her father was a carpenter and her mother a housewife. Coming from a humble background, though she was good at academics, she did not harbor big dreams. Her favorite subject was political science and she loved reading books. She completed her post-graduation in political science and in 1999 she got married to Sunil Avjekar who was in the army working with the CRPF. In 2014, when her daughter Tanya was in the 8th grade, Pushpa visited her parents in Pune during the vacation. And on a sultry evening, Pushpa was taking a stroll in the front yard of her parents' house. There was a lot of sand on the floor, so it was slippery, although she took due care at one point, her foot slipped and she lost her balance. Her quick presence of mind saved her from falling on the floor, yet it caused a big jerk on her spine and that caused an injury from D5 to D11 of her vertebrae. That night, she felt as if there was no sensation in her left leg. She rushed to the local doctor who gave her tablets and asked her to monitor her condition for the next 10 12 days. After 15 days, she felt some pain in her stomach and back and slowly lost all the sensation in both her legs. Her life hiccuped along with daily struggles and she continued to combat new challenges every day. That's the story of Pushpa Ojekar. Uh, I have been listening to so many people, so uh, extremely inspiring every, every time I'm here, Ketna. Uh, very inspiring and humbling, and also you narrated it so well. I have very little to talk about Ketna, but uh, I have worked with her closely and uh, you know, one quality that I found that I have written many things, I forgot what I wrote for you, uh, but one of the things that you know, I want to describe is the effervescent quality of that she has, but she may correct me if that's the right word, but what I meant is uh, the property to create bubbles around her, wherever she goes, that's what I saw. Uh, Whatever, you, whatever the situation is, I mean, you're, you're, his, uh, you're her brother, you know what makes you tick and what makes us all work around Ketna. No matter what happens, uh, you know, uh, if Ketna calls, it will get done. And I think that's, uh, that's the quality that she, and you mentioned so well about her smile, so I won't talk about her smile. All her teeth are out all the time. So, you know, uh, so, Every time, it's not just a smile, it's all a teeth out. Now that means so much of warmth to give. It's not, you know, it's so difficult for me to show all my teeth out. I'm sorry, I'm, uh, so it's very difficult. So that just shows the warmth, her heart goes out to everybody. And uh, that's what creates this. And this afternoon she was saying, you know, I want to retire. And I said, and do what? Can you do, can you stay without doing anything? And she said, no, no, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. So there's no retirement for you. Uh, so thank you, Ketna. I will end uh, the passion, everything, everybody has spoken about. Lovely song, uh, Sir mentioned, I was really touched. I'm going to see that song when I get back home again. I've seen it before, but I remember the way you described. So I think the happiness that you spread is contagious. And I think everybody here, is come. I came because of you, because you called. So it makes such a big difference to the world around you. You're touching lives and you know we have CSR and we do help a lot of people and I'm just thinking what can we do more for the you know spinal, spinal cord injury uh, people. 
and I hope we can touch, I don't know, corporate, we can do something about it. So thank you very much for having me here and uh, being able to narrate the story. Thanks so much, Dad. And that uh, Luda has been our angel for all our rural SCIs. He has given, it's the most profitable company even in this pandemic. And Balfour is the managing director. But Yusuf Bhai or any of our team members fall and he's given a carte blanche permission. Anything from Nina Foundation is picked up and delivered free of cost and with so much of care. So we are happy that. So thank you. We are already doing so much. And you know, it is like 24 hours in the most. It's one of my favorite brands. Not because I uh, work there, because of the quality of human beings who care for every package. So, uh, you know, you should find up some day stay home to our book for Shukriya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ketna Ben, for inviting me to this wonderful emotion filled evening. As part of your narrative, what you mentioned is very correct that all of us who are physically normal are blessed. So I feel blessed. Thank you. I met Ketna Ben at a conference on smart cities. Whether the conference was did produce anything smart, I am not sure, but I met a smart lady. <laughs> My narrative, but it's nothing very extraordinary. Would you like me to read uh, about this gentleman? I think we heard at length the various narratives of courage, so very, very inspiring. Not only the theme, not only the person behind that the effort that all of all the people who put into making it happen and how difficult it was, especially for people coming from the rural areas. So I think it's a very great compliment that one must pay to her and all the team who created the book. I am supposed to direct the story of one gentleman, one Mr. Ramdas Victor Rao Kamdi. I'll just read that. The title of the book or the, his uh, story is Zindagi Ek Jan Hai. Life is a Battle. Then I'll read the narrative. Train accidents often have two consequences. Those involved in it either die or are injured severely. And the ones who are injured are affected not just physically but their souls and their hope to live happily are also often damaged beyond repair. But tough are the ones who believe in themselves and work towards a metaphorical rebirth, rebirth to live their life to the fullest. One example of such a person is Ramdas Kamdi, residing in Kalbi village, Nagpur Taluka, Nagpur Gramin district, Maharashtra. He fell from a speeding train on 23rd July 21, uh, 2001, and this caused a spinal cord injury in D1 and L1 level vertebra in his spine. He lost control of his bladder in bowel moments. Before the accident changed his life, Ramdas had done his BSc and had completed his ITI in electrical field. He lives in a family of four, which includes his him, which includes him his wife. She serves as a house help in homes. His elder daughter studying in the 12th standard into a science stream and a son who is in the ninth grade. To earn a livelihood, Ramdas takes coaching classes which are located 15 kilometers away from his home. During the lockdown, he faced financial problems and did not have funds for medicines recommended by his doctor. He wishes to own a stationery shop in the near future to earn a dignified living for his family. For now, 
He is our role model, tutor on wheels. If there is a help that he needs, we will be willing to help him. Is, I'm sure wonderful. I will like to read it, but I would also like to promote it. So, on behalf of Excel, may I order 100 copies? <laughs> All 100 I will not be giving to my people. So, I would say please give us five copies. The rest are available to you to give to whoever deserves to be received. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two things that I can offer. It's a pleasure. All the narrative that so I'm not going to repeat, but let me add to what you say. That's one of my favorite songs. And when I hear that song, which I must have heard, heard a hundred times, and Vaishnav uh, Jan, the Bhajan, I think there is a great similarity between the two. Only one is a Bhajan, the other is a song. But both have the narrative the same thing. So beautiful. Thank you very much for that. Stars. Here we have two women fillers, Bachi Man and Jyoti Man, and we have Mr. Sai uh, Suresh to come and read their narratives, which the printouts have already been given. Jyoti Man. Called Driving with Hope, Ravi Ravindra Shinde, 45, hails from Walba village, Sangli district, about 200 kilometers from Pune. At a young age, he was employed as a truck driver. He enjoyed driving and was content with the money he was getting to cater to the needs of his family, including his wife, son, and mother. He lived happily in a small apartment of two rooms, dreaming of sending his son for higher education to the city. 27th July 1997, the day that everything changed for Ravi. On his way back from a trip to Surat, two trucks approached Ravi at breakneck speed from the opposite directions, one trying to overtake the other. He sat frozen to the steering wheel, not knowing what to do as the overtaking truck rammed into him with full force. While the cleaner suffered broken limbs, Ravi's spine was broken with the force of impact and the steering collar broke his thigh bone instantly. He was transferred to Yashwantrao Chavan Hospital for the further management of his broken C6-C7 vertebrae. Due to the spinal injury, he had lost sensation in his lower limbs and had no control over his bladder and bowel movements. The next 13 months were spent battling pain and distress at this hospital. Ravi's spine was operated upon, but the road to recovery was terribly slow. With no financial help and no future, he moved back to his village as a bedridden patient to be taken care of by his mother and his wife. To make ends meet, his wife and mother had to pick up menial jobs in the sugarcane fields close to his village, earning about 100 to 200. Ravi exhibits positivity and hope. He is a source of inspiration to many of the able-bodied men who live in his village. And he hopes to be riding in his new rickshaw soon and start earning an income. When Ravi uh, asked me, I Spinal cord injury day of, of Veena Foundation opened my eyes as much as it tugged at my heart. Since then, I have followed the work of the courageous Ekta Mehta, who transformed her cruel fate into a meaningful life for herself and hundreds of others with spinal cord injury. She has fought tirelessly to bridge first the rehabilitation gap and then that of accessibility, even in swaggering metropolitan Mumbai. Metropolitan area. She and her team are now extending that difference 
he goes in rural areas, he will otherwise be condemned to the incurable, lifelong disability. Thank you, Ketna and Nina Foundation, for giving wings to the wheelchair. Somehow, you know, we kind of moved away, you know, I left times in India, I moved on. 
she was a big on John Grunath and all that, I don't know. And we would, we would keep in touch kind of very irregularly, kind of until one fine day, the mother calls me home for telephones at home and says, Ketna's had an accident, uh, she went hang gliding, she, she fell down from high up there and she's uh, suffered spinal cord injury and she's, she's better in. And it was kind of news that shook me because the Ketna, I as I said, was a, was a bundle of energy. She would, she would bounce on walls, man. I mean, I have to imagine her better than was something that, I mean, it was beyond my imagination. And I couldn't get much, I didn't know what kind of frame she would be in, frame of mind she would be in, because I knew her as an active person moving about all the time. And to imagine her being confined was, I couldn't, I didn't have the courage to go see her for a long time. I just couldn't. So Shamin told me that, you know, she's your best friend, you know, and she called me, I have to go see her. And she came with me, we went to the, went to her home and signed her own bar. We rang the bell, I still remember the site um, very vividly. Ketna came out, she was on the floor, you know, she was moving that way and she came, and she joined us and we were talking and it was something for me that I couldn't handle. This person I know as a, as a, as a, as a live wire, I said, man, this is, I mean, that somehow, somehow, I mean, we kept meeting here and there and all that, and I realized that, I mean, I, I, was, here, I was thinking, how would she have the courage to face up to this? It was a thought that was crushing me, and here, a very pleasant, a very, she hadn't lost a smile, she hadn't lost her, lost her, lost her positivity, nothing. And by very pleasant, she was giving me the courage. You know, it, was, it was something that's I, in, uh, indescribable. I mean, I'm supposed to give her the courage, and here she was giving me the courage with, 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 a, with a sheer presence. I mean, it continues till today. I mean, every time I, I think life has handled me, lemons man kind of thing, you know, it's terrible, and what do you do? And I think of Ketna. And she, she's always, always, always this person who's, who's imparting courage to other people, who's imparting. I mean, she is a life lesson. I mean, if I were to describe Ketna in one word, I think she's a life lesson for all of us. I mean, remarkable. Ketna, I'm so proud. I'm so proud that you are the first friend in Bombay. I'm so proud that you are to be a friend. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so proud. Just to be here. We are publicly talking. She was in your and a half. Yes. Thank you. Anyway, now what? Now let me get to the reading. I think I'm wrong list of writing. This narrative of mine is called Navigating a Tough Path by Prashant Kotkar Yadasin. When he was 11 years old, Prashant Kotkar's only wish was to own a bicycle. Just like in 2005, Prashant's simple, smooth life hit a major speed bump. After he was diagnosed with a tumor in his spine, his parents rushed him to Bhatti Hospital in Mumbai, where the tumor was operated upon. But the surgery led to a complete spinal cord injury at D6, D7, D8 level vertebrae which resulted in a permanent and incurable confine to his bed. And hence walking to his school that are three kilometers away was an impossibility. The only saving grace for him was the fact that he retained his bladder and bowel sensations. Unable to stand, balance, balance himself, or even take a few steps, Anna would crawl on a chadai in the room, often giving way to despair with tears. His inactivity led to bed sores on his buttocks, and this forced him to sleep on his stomach for months at a stretch with only his mother, a TV and the books as his constant companions. There was no school, no friends, no running in the fields chasing butterflies, and no interaction at all with the outside world. When his health began to improve, his father bought a second hand jeep. He would carry Prashant from his bed to the jeep, drive him to school every day, and carry him from the jeep to, the, to his classroom. Since Prashant was unable to balance, balance himself on his bench, throughout the day he would sit on the floor in the last row leaning against the wall for support to stay upright. Although Prashant was personally keen on doing computer engineering, his father decided that he should acquire a diploma in pharmacy, d -farm, so that they could open a chemist store in the village. He wishes to fulfill his father's cherished dreams of opening a chemist store in their village. That's Prashant Kotkar on the screen. Okay, now to my quote about Nina Foundation. It's called Rebuilding Trust and Faith. India, generally speaking, has failed people with disabilities. 
Our civic planning does not take into consideration the needs and requirements, and nowhere is it more exemplified than in the failure to provide even the most basic facilities to them. And within the large segment of people with disabilities, are those with spinal cord injury that has forced them to lie in wheelchairs, our apathy towards their needs is stark, a failure in treating them as capable people is monumental. It is simply put, a situation of despair. Shining a light in this bleak scenario is a 21-year-old Lina Foundation that has united and knit together a community of spinal cord injured that takes care of their needs, from rehabilitation to recreation, thus fulfilling the basic need to be recognized as human beings. I was fortunate to witness firsthand Lina Foundation's work on the Spinal Cord Injury Day, which is observed on June 25 and came away impressed and moved by the tremendous effort the Foundation makes to provide care, support and bonding to the community. It is efforts such as Ketna's that rebuild the trust and faith in you that humanity is still alive. Thank you, Ketna, for everything. I'm sure you would like to hear some
for the sake of those affected by spinal injury, like Satish. They have been given hope to those who feel hopeless. Kitna has been a model, as many of you have already said, to show us how a serious accident and consequences can be converted into a service for the community and to create a better world. Thank you. Poems gave him support. They bring him happiness 
and are the way he can express himself. He wants his shyery to reach many people. Right now, he makes his shyery accessible to people through YouTube, WhatsApp, and other social media platforms. He wants to compile his poems and puzzles in Urdu and wants it to come true very soon. As he puts it politically, Ek dard, ek kasab dil mein, jigar mein hai. Ek dard, ek kasab dil mein, jigar mein hai. Manzar teri judai ka ab tak nazar mein hai. Manzar teri judai ka ab tak nazar mein hai. Bandhi thi hum, humne, bandhi thi humne, jo dor mohabbat ke naam se. Bandhi thi humne, jo dor mohabbat ke naam se. Wo dor. झूलती है अब तक शजर में है वो डोर झूलती है अब तक शजर में है देर इज अ पेन अर्निंग इन माई हार्ट एंड माइंड द सीन ऑफ योर सेपरेशन फ्रॉम मी इज स्टिल बिफोर माई आईज द थ्रेड दैट वी टाइड इन द नेम ऑफ लव इज स्टिल फ्लटरिंग टाइट टू द सेक्रेटरी ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्रेस हिज डिलाई फ्रॉम हिज वाइफ Actually, uh, about Ketna and his, and, huh? Jaffir, I have not, there's so much to say that I cannot uh, uh, end it here, but I will just again use Shairi to express how I know Ketna. Manzil unhi ko milti hai, manzil unhi ko milti hai, jin ke sapno mein jaan hoti hai, manzil unhi ko milti hai, jin ke sapno mein jaan hoti hai. पंख से कुछ नहीं होता उड़ान हौसलों से होती है पंख से कुछ नहीं होता उड़ान हौसले से होती है तो केतना हमारे सामने एक जीती जाती एग्जाम्पल है कि पंख क्या बिन पंखे के बिन किसी जरूरत के वो तो उठती है वो अकेली नहीं उठती है सबको साथ में लेके उड़ रही है आज जो हम जो यहाँ पर मौजूद है उसके एडवायर्स हैं Or also we know about the millions of people. I, I can say millions she has touched because she may have touched hundred thousand lakhs. But through them, again more and more people. Five have gone to twenty-five, twenty-five have gone to two fifty, two fifty have gone to five twenty-five, and so it's endless the number of people she has touched. So I will again say one last share for her. Celia, unhe mubarak ho. Celia, unhe mubarak ho. Jine chhat tak jana hai. So the ladder is enough only for those who want to go to the terrace. Hamari manzil to asman hai. Ketna ki manzil to asman hai. Rasta wo khud banati ja rahi hai. Rasta wo khud banati ja rahi hai. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Razia ji ne bhoat khub surati se ka ki Ketna अपना रास्ता खुद बनाती है क्योंकि उनकी मंजिल आसमान है बट हमारे बीच ऐसे लोग हैं जिन्होंने अपना रास्ता खुद बनाया है और मैं चाहूंगी कि हम उनके अपनी जुबानी ये तो नरेटिव थे जो बुक में लिखे हुए हैं लेकिन बुक से बाहर आकर हमारे यहाँ जीते जाते एक परी है सानी का एंड I would like to invite her to talk about her own journey, how she has touched her skies. And uh, I think we would like to invite uh, Sanita's parents, Avantika ji, Vaikuma ji, to join their daughter to say a few words. Viva 
Kerala College. Uh, and as per the guidance of Kirna Ridhi, I completed my post graduation in financial management from Wellington Institute of Management. Of course, all the credit of my achievements goes to my parents, uh, my elder brother, and Nina family for always supporting me. We are very thankful to Nina family, Kirtan Didi, for supporting us uh, emotionally as well as encouraging us all the times by all means. Um, now I would uh, introduce my mother who would like to say another few words uh, about our journey from our tough times to uh, brighter lives.
पटिये को व्हील लगा के उसको पटिये पे बिठा बिठाती थी और वो हाथ के सहारे घर में घूमती थी तभी मैं उठाती थी दैट टाइम शी वॉज नाइन ईयर ओल्ड शी वॉज थर्ड थर्ड स्टैंडर्ड तो जैसे ही दीदी से मिली विंजर की आइडिया मतलब पता था देखा भी था बुजुर्ग लोगों को बट शादी का कोई ये यूज करना ऐसे हमारे दिमाग में ही नहीं आया था एंड इट वॉज वेरी वेरी पेनफुल कि पटिये पे वो चलती देखना एंड शी वॉज एब्सोटली एब्सोटली नॉर्मल नौ साल तक तो वो एकदम नॉर्मल थी ऑल ऑफ सडन वन एक नाइट में उसको ऐसे हुआ एंड डॉक्टर का कहना था साढ़े तीन महीने से डॉक्टर बोमन दावे का साढ़े तीन महीने से वो ट्यूमर उसके स्पाइन पे स्पाइन को दबा रहा था सो ऑल नर्व डेड एंड ब्रेन का ऑर्डर फ्रॉम हियर टू स्टमक उतना ही ऑर्डर अब तक उसको उतना ही ऑर्डर जाता है बट आई एम हैप्पी फिर भी उसने 78 परसेंट टेंथ सेवेंटी सिक्स परसेंट ग्रेजुएशन 72 परसेंट एंड एम बी ए एम बी ए सिक्सटी नाइन परसेंट कॉलेज से क्योंकि तब अभी ही एम बी ए किया चार साल पहले तो उसको एकदम ऑल ऑफ सडन ही सफरिंग फ्रॉम कैंसर और फादर एंड ही सफरिंग फ्रॉम कैंसर तो जब इसकी विलीन तर की जो एग्जाम थी तभी ही इनका कैंसर का पता चला तो पागल जैसी शी वॉज सर्चिंग ऑन मोबाइल की कैंसर कैसे होता है क्या करना है क्या पापा ने खाना नहीं है क्या शी उसने अपने मतलब एम बी ए के यहाँ उसका ध्यान थोड़ा कम गया और पूरा ध्यान उसका कॉन्सेंट्रेट अपने पापा के ऊपर हो गया एंड थैंक्स गॉड आज पाँच साल है अभी ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट को फिर केमो उनका हो गया सो ही डूइंग वेल गाड़ी चल रही है गाड़ी चल रही है बिकॉज ही इज वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव आई एम नॉट पॉजिटिव बट ही इज वेरी वेरी पॉजिटिव और इनके ऊपर हो गई है तो उसकी वजह से ये हो गया दीदी दीदी से हमें फिर व्हील चेयर मिली और तब हम व्हील चेयर पे आने लगा आने लगे और और मैं ये बताना चाहूँगी कि स्पाइनल कॉर्ड इंजुरी की सबसे बुरी बात ये है कि आप सेंसेशन लॉस्ट होता है वो सेंसेशन ही नहीं लग होता वो बहुत बुरी बात जैसे कि उसको चढ़ाते वक्त बैठते वक्त उसके बाद पैर ऐसे भी हुआ तो इमीडिएटली स्वेलिंग आएगी तो पहचान नहीं का कि फ्रैक्चर हो गया उसको दिखता ही नहीं है कुछ नहीं सोचता है तो उसके बाद और एक दिन का इंसिडेंट बताना चाहूँगी फटफट से कि जैसे मूंगी था उसके बटक पे वन नाइट आई वॉज नॉट नोइंग जब हम सर सुबह उठे तो मुझे मैंने उसको देखा नहीं और टिफिन करने गई एंड जब आई तो मूंगी था बट आई थॉट इट इज मोशन इट थाउजेंड ऑफ एंड वॉज देयर ऑन हर बटक तो वो जो था तो मुझे समझा नहीं जब नजदीक साफ करने गई सो दैट टाइम मैंने देखा कि इट वॉज एंड्स एंड मैंने कपड़े से लपोट लिया उसको बाथरूम में लेके फिर लेके गई एंड साफ किया तो डॉक्टर दीदी से इमीडिएटली मैंने दीदी से बात की दीदी ने डॉक्टर सागरे और डॉक्टर हिमांशु दोषी से बात की तो उन्होंने कोई मुझे अपॉइंटमेंट बोला वो अपॉइंटमेंट लगाया सेकेंड डे इट वॉज हॉलीफल वो मतलब वो सब लाल हुआ था सेकेंड डे देखा बट ये बहुत दुख हुआ कि सेंसेशन नहीं था और ओनली थाउजेंड ऑफ एंड ओनली ऑन बटक पे था न पीठ के ऊपर था न नीचे था वो क्या तो डॉक्टर साहब ने कहा कि बेड सो स्टार्ट हुआ था तो वो जख्म पे मूंगी आई थी एनीवेज उसके बाद हाँ जब उसको दैट टाइम मेडिटेशन सेकेंड में को उसको ऐसे हुआ फिर हम लोग उसको स्कूल लेके जाते थे स्कूल बस से मैं उसको उठा के लेके जाती थी फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड के बच्चे लोग छोटे थे कभी उसे लंगड़ी कहा जाता था कभी बातें करते हंसते खलते उसको देख के मुझे देख के एकदम से शांत हो जाते थे तो ये सब दर्शानी का यूज टू सी ओनली टू मी मेरी गोद में रहती थी 
तो कोर्स स्टैंडर्ड है और डॉक्टर बोमन दाबर ने मैं एक बात बोलना भूल गई डॉक्टर बोमन दाबर ने कहा था कि अगर उसे पढ़ना नहीं है लिखना नहीं है तो आप फोर्स मत करो क्योंकि वो बीमार पड़ जाएगी उसको मेंटली स्ट्रेस बिल्कुल नहीं देना है बिकॉज नियर अबाउट सेवेंटी टू परसेंट कैंसर फैला हुआ था सो so, डॉक्टर ने नहीं बोला था इसको जब हमने पूछा कि भाई तुम्हें सीखना है क्या स्कूल जाना है क्या तो उसने कहा यस मुझे सीखना है मुझे घर में नहीं बैठना है मम्मी मुझे सीखना है तो बस उसका ये लग के हमने स्कूल बस में मैंने गई फिर थोड़ा चिड़ाना हुआ एक बार मैं स्कूल बस में से उसे उतारते वक्त हम दोनों नीचे गिरे लोगों को ऐसे लगा भाई लेडीज है पर जब मैंने ही हाथ दिया तो उन्होंने मुझे उठाया इसे उठाया आ, ये सब आज तक पीरियड्स के पीरियड्स के पीरियड्स के बारे में भी जब आने लगे तो कोई सोसाइटी में मुझे बोला अरे तुम अब कैसे करोगी तो फिर मैंने इसका ऑपरेशन कराओ यूट्रेस निकाल दो तो मैंने इस बारे में दीदी से बात की दीदी मुझे डांटी मुझे बोली अरे हम कौन होते हैं उसका यूट्रेस निकालने वाले वॉट वी नोज अबाउट टुमारो एंड सचमुच में आज एक Uh, अच्छी लड़की मतलब वो दीदी ने मुझे कहा नहीं तो शायद मैं वो भी कर सकता थी थी थी। और अभी पॉलिसीज uh, uh, उसके आज तक उसके मेजर ऑपरेशन सिक्स छः मेजर ऑपरेशन हुए दो बार फ्रैक्चर हुआ है एंड पॉलिसीज uh, uh, का पॉलिसीज का ऑपरेशन uh, उसको डॉक्टर भोजराज ट्रस्टी ऑफ लीना फाउंडेशन उन्होंने सिक्स आवर्स उसका ऑपरेशन करने में लगा और डॉक्टर भोजराज ने वो ऑपरेशन किया वो भी पूरा फ्री फ्रॉम देसाई हॉस्पिटल और उसका चार्ज में लीलावती हॉस्पिटल में नाइन लैक बोले थे उसके रॉड डाला हुआ है स्पाइनल में तो वो बिकॉज ऑफ फाउंडेशन दीदी टच में थी दीदी डॉक्टर से बातें करती थी क्या हुआ कैसे है पर सब समाउ सब कुछ अच्छा ही हुआ अभी मेरा हाँ मेट्रो फैने एक यूरिन की चीज और कैथेटर स्टील चीज और कैथेटर पर कैथेटर के होने के बावजूद भी बहुत ज़्यादा गीला होता था लीकेज होता था तो उसका ऑपरेशन करने के लिए बोला डॉक्टर केतना डॉक्टर केतन देसाई ने किया ऑपरेशन वॉज फेल फेल हुआ फिर आ, फिर हमने दीदी से बात की डॉक्टर का ऑपरेशन ऐसा हुआ दीदी ऐसा हुआ डॉक्टर ने डॉक्टर सागड़े से बात आ, बात करके डॉक्टर सागड़े ने केतन देसाई को बोला कि भाई इस तरह से ऑपरेशन करो क्योंकि ऑलरेडी हुई हम एडमिट हुए थे तो दीदी की वजह से उन्होंने ऐसे बोला एंड बहुत हाँ फिर बाद में सक्सेसफुल हुआ एंड विराट में हम जहाँ रहते हैं वहाँ ग्राउंड फ्लोर रहते हैं पर तीन चार सीढ़ी भी उसके लिए मुझे या ऑफिस जाते थे उसके लिए मुझे उठाना चढ़ाना तकलीफ होता था तो मैंने स्लोपिंग के लिए सोसाइटी को बोला अनफॉर्चुनेटली दे वो लोग इतने कोऑपरेटिव नहीं थे तो वो मेरे उनको लगा कि सोसाइटी का डिज़ाइन बिगड़ जाएगा और दूसरे दूसरे बुजुर्ग लोग को शायद तकलीफ हो जाएगी अगर तुम रैम आप लोग रैम बनाए आप लोगों ने ये फ्लैट क्यों ले लिया आप लोगों ने लिफ्ट वाले फ्लैट लेना था ऐसे ऐसे फालतू के लिए था तभी ये बात भी मैंने दीदी से बताई दीदी ने पिक्चर मांगे फोटोज मांगे क्या करना चाहती हो कैसे फिर उनकी जो अनगिनत पहचान है दीदी की अनगिन अनगिनत कॉन्टेक्ट से उनके थ्री उनको थ्री वो रैम भी बन गया
तो हमको वो छोड़ना नहीं था इसका माँ वो अभी कंपनी ने ज्वाइन करने के लिए बोला तभी मैंने दीदी को बोला कि भाई इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल अस टू स्टे देयर बेंगलोर बिकॉज हमारा बेंगलोर में कोई नहीं है और इनके डॉक्टर मेरे डॉक्टर मेरी भी बाईपास हो गई है डेढ़ साल पहले सो so, हमारे डॉक्टर सब मुंबई में कैसा होगा तो फिर जो हम भी करने वाले थे दीदी ने ऐसे ही किया कि पहले आप लोग मेल डालो मेल डाल के देखो एच से बात करो परमिशन निकालो आपकी कंडीशन बताओ उसकी कंडीशन बताओ एंड uh, उस तरह से हमने किया एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी वेरी हैप्पी टू से दैट वी वी गॉट परमिटेड शी इज एज अ डेप्यूटी मैनेजर शी इज वर्किंग एज अ डेप्यूटी मैनेजर एंड ये सब बातें हैं दीदी एक असाधारण व्यक्ति मतलब है थैंक यू असाधारण व्यक्ति आप अभी इतनी सब लोगों ने आपके बारे में मीना फाउंडेशन के बारे में बोला है तो मैं तो बड़ा
क्योंकि तभी तक उसको तीन महीने हो गए थे हमारी को तीन महीने के बाद मालूम पड़ा तो मैंने उसको पेंट नीचे करके देखा तो उसको पीछे बहुत बड़ा जख्म है और ऐसा तीर टपक रहा है तो मेरे दिल के ऊपर बहुत गहरा असर उसका हुआ मैं सोचा ये मेरे लिए चैलेंज है मीना को मेरे सामने मैं ये चेस रखूँगा क्योंकि आप उसको कर दीजिए तो मैं एक दिन छोड़ के एक दिन अभी उसके पास जाने लगा क्योंकि जितना हम किसी के करीब जाएंगे तो वो हमको अपना मानता है तो मैं उसके उसका पेंट साफ किया उसका ब्लेजर साफ किया वो जख्म का ड्रेसिंग पट्टी वगैरह ईच एंड एवरी थिंग उसको जो उसके घर वालों को करना चाहिए था उसके अपनों को करना चाहिए था मैंने वो किया तो वो मेरे करीब आया तो वो मेरे को बोलने लगा कि अभी अगर आप नहीं आएंगे तो मेरा क्या होगा मैं बोला नहीं जब तक तुम चलने नहीं रहेगा तब तक मैं आता रहूँ तुम्हारा हम इंतजाम करेंगे नीना फाउंडेशन उसको कम से कम चार महीने तक नीना फाउंडेशन बोलना नहीं आया इतना सीधा साधा इतना मासूम लड़का तो उसके बाद ये कोरोना का 2020 के शुरुआत में कोरोना का ये मामला हो गया तो क्योंकि वो ब्रिज के नीचे था उसको गादी वगैरह हमने लेके दिया था उधर थोड़ा बिस्तर का इंतजाम किया था खाने पीने का इंतजाम किया था तो अभी उसको कोई समस्या नहीं था अभी समस्या यह होगी करोना वो भी आया तो वो उसने मेरे को फोन किया बोला ये सुबह मेरे को इधर से हटा रहे हैं ये ब्रिज के नीचे से तो अगले दिन अभी उसका तो हमारे पास हाल नहीं था कितना मैं उनसे मैं बात किया उन्होंने बोला कुछ करना पड़ेगा क्योंकि मैं दूसरे एक पेशेंट के लिए जो पैराप्लेजिक था वो अनाथ था वो शांतिदान गोरी वाली में गोराई में उधर उनके पास में जाता था उनको थोड़ा फिजियोथेरेपी वगैरह कराता था तो उधर मेरी थोड़ी पहचान थी कितना मैडम का वहाँ पे अपनी एक कांटेक्ट था तो उन्होंने उधर बात किया मैंने भी अपना थोड़ा कांटेक्ट उधर किया तो उन्होंने बोला हम इधर सिर्फ अनाथ लोगों को एडमिशन देते हैं तो क्योंकि इसके इसका भाई भी था और इसके पापा भी थे तो फिर मैंने मेरे घर के मेरे खुद के मेरे औरत के बच्चों के कहता मैडम के साथ बात करके पुलिस के पास पेपर जमा किया उसका एन दिया कि अगर उसका कुछ भी हो गया तो तुम्हारी जिम्मेदारी है तो वो पेपर वगैरह जमा करके उसका एन दिया और उसको गोराई में एडमिट किया गोराई में एडमिट करने के बाद आज वो वहाँ पे क्या करता है जिनके हाथ नहीं है उनको वो खाना खिलाता है क्योंकि उसका सब अच्छा है तो वो अभी चलता है वो उसके वीडियो वगैरह में है हमारे पास वो अभी चलता है एक लकड़ी पे चलता है पहले दो पे चलता था तो और जो मैंटली रिटर्ड है घर वाले बच्चों को फेंक देते हैं उनको वहाँ पे वो नहलाने में मदद करता है जिन लोगों को जख्म है उनको जख्म पट्टी करता है जो हम लिख रहे हैं ये प्रकाश हो रही है आज के दिन ये बुक उस दे में तेल का काम करेगी जो दिया मीना मैम ने जलाया है और हम और भी दूर दराज और बैकवर्ड लोगों के पास पहुँच के उनको ऐसा ही मदद करेंगे जैसा मीना जी का सपना था और हम उनकी आत्मा की शांति के लिए हमेशा दुआ करते रहेंगे उनकी वजह से हमारा एक मुकाम है हमको लोग जानते हैं यसु भाई को जानते हैं नहीं तो कोई जानता नहीं था उन्होंने हमको काम का मौका दिया हम एक दफ़ा फिर मीना फाउंडेशन का और इस संस्था के डेलीगेशन का सलाम करते हुए
and he took him there and he reached home. Today you can see Kishan, what he was and what he is now. So I think it's a brilliant quote to you. Selfless story, Sunil, just tarah se unhone kitna ne bataya. Selflessly, sir, bridge ke niche ek ajnabi ki madad ki aur usse zameen se utha kar apne pehro pe khade hona sikhaya. और जैसा व्यक्ति उन्होंने बताया कि आज वो इंसान इस पासिंग द चेन ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटी वो दूसरों की मदद कर रहा है व्हाट अ ब्यूटीफुल लिविंग लाइफ समीना इज हियर ओके समीना इज हर सेल्फ ऑफ पैरालिटी इज हर वाइफ वाइफ एंड ही हैज रिहैबिलिटेटेड हर बात ये ऐसा उनको मिलना हमने सबकी कहानियां सुनी आज हमारे साथ दुबई से सुन रहे हैं रिहाब 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 तो इट यू नो कम्स टू अ लेवल ऑफ कंक्लुजन डेट इंडिविजुअली हम अपने प्रयास कर रहे हैं मेहनत कर रहे हैं एफर्ट्स कर रहे हैं लेकिन ये अकेले के इतना कब तक वो जोत वो बीकर यू नो लेकर आगे बढ़ेंगे देन नीड्स टू बी अ फ्रेमवर्क where any such person on the street can be brought under that roof and rehabilitated. So I would like to invite uh, Dr. Uday Kokar to give us his take on the need for a proper rehab center. And I know I'm very sorry we are all absolutely running out of the patients, but uh, I'm sure after this we will now. Dr. Good evening, everyone. I think we have had a great evening, very memorable evening, I would say, uh, because of the really touching stories uh, that we have heard, uh, all very nicely compiled and published now by Ketna, uh, with her inimitable style. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you all will all will have a feel of the book. Uh, a little later and uh, I just want to uh, emphasize on the aspect that Yusufai has just said that the main person required for improving uh, the state of uh, paraplegics uh, or spinal cord injured is the physiotherapist. So a physiotherapist is uh, absolutely necessary. And uh, apart from uh, the various specialist doctors who take care of the various complications uh, in uh, uh, paraplegia or spinal cord injury, I myself uh, uh, actually underwent uh, a spinal cord injury after I became a doctor. That was way back in 1984. And uh, because uh, I had the understanding of the condition, I could uh, manage to high back a little bit better and uh, therefore I am able to actually uh, go on with my uh, work as well as uh, uh, rehabilitate myself and I, I don't think my rehabilitation is complete as it is complete as yet because the rehabilitation it ne never becomes uh, uh, you know uh, complete it is always every day we are learning something uh, new that's the way the approach to rehabilitation is uh, and therefore, what we need is uh, a, a place where uh, all these specialists and physiotherapists can have uh, uh, actually uh, a specialist uh, place that uh, you know, offers this rehabilitation facility which is missing in this big city uh, in spite of uh, a very uh, dire need. That is, uh, the number of vehicular accidents uh, are increasing. Uh, a huge number of them happen probably outside the city. Uh, and those uh, patients are never brought to the city because they don't have the access. We just heard some stories, uh, heart-rending stories, where uh, the uh, home people can disown the person. So, uh, uh, Whatever uh, patients are coming, they are coming to the cities, they, are, they get attracted to the cities because of better facilities. But 
uh, here is what our city is lacking that uh, we don't have a specialized uh, facility for spinal cord injured uh, that has a multi specialty team of uh, doctors so for each uh, uh, each uh, problem we need to go to a separate doctor a separate uh, uh, place and as uh, was amply brought out by the earlier uh, story uh, It becomes very difficult for the caring uh, uh, parents or uh, people at home uh, to uh, understand as to what is to be done now, you know, because it's very uh, easy for the regular doctors to uh, you know, uh, tell that the patient will not be able to walk anymore, but what is to be done, that guidance is lacking and that guidance requires a uh, specialist uh, training as well as uh, specialist place where all the uh, uh, team of doctors and physiotherapists uh, should be available uh, and in fact uh, there is also a place for peer education which is what actually uh, Ketna has been doing so successfully and uh, everyone is grateful to her because of that. This is. Uh, not just, of course, uh, she's going beyond that and she's trying to help in every way up, apart from peer education. Uh, but peer education has a great place in rehabilitation uh, apart from uh, the physiotherapy and specialists. And uh, this city uh, does require a, a, such a place. I hope uh, uh, with her efforts and enthusiasm <laughs> some uh, time soon this should be uh, achievable. Uh, her goals are always very high. <laughs> and as you heard just now, her contacts are multifold. So uh, she, can, she has the capacity to do it. And I hope uh, and pray that she uh, is able to find uh, energy and uh, also some, uh, from, some from her contacts to uh, achieve this goal. I wish her a very good luck in that. Thank you. Uh, we come to an end of a wonderful journey of moments, expressions, grit, determination, fight and flight. And the person who spearheads this and because of whom we all are here, Ketna Didi, we would like to invite you to stage and our dear friend Nikita who has come all the way from Ullasnagar. Her car broke down. She had to immediately hire another, uh, arrange another vehicle and she's come all the way from there and she would like to, uh, you know, Give a token of appreciation and gratitude to Ketna Mehta. Ketna? So, Ketna, please. We express our sincere gratitude to family and friends of our own very cheerful members with spinal cord injuries who always look forward to celebrate the SCI Day each year on the 25th of June. Even the torrential rains do not dampen us, though today they have spared us. So, but the, over the years, we have really braved our way through the games. Special mention to our chief guest of this evening who added spark to our event by his presence, Professor Ernest Fernandez and Mrs. Lorna Fernandez. Not to forget each of you, our special invitees, who have taken time off from your busy schedules to attend this EVO launch. Dr. J.V. Yakmi, Mr. Balfour Manuel, Mr. and Mrs. Walter and Celine Vieira, Bachi Ma'am, Mr. Ashwin Shroff, Mr. Sai Suresh, Shamin, Jyoti Ji, our dear friends of Nina Foundation, Dr. Razia, Milka, Dr. Parinas, Kiran Advani, Nita Aswani, Divya Suvarna, Vinesh Advani, Anupama Bajaj, Mrs. Parpia Guha, Malti Ayer, Mrs. 
who shall house. <laughs> uh, for Nina Foundation, that is a joke. Under the leadership of our very own trustee, Mr. Daval Mehta, and a special mention of Mukundpai Bhavna Manra. We would also like to acknowledge the dedication and commitment of our doctor, of Dr. Ratna Vora and Tara Mehta, and the entire OPD team, Dr. Mrs. Sagre, Dr. Shilpa Bhojraj, you, was always, you have always been the greatest support to our SCI friend. We have already heard the stories of how each person has contributed to shaping up the life from the scratch. Thanks for a wonderful presentation. Dr. Uday Kokkar, Yusuf Bhai Shahane Tanji, Avantika Ji, Jai Kumar Ji, Sanika, we loved your journey. Thank you so much for sharing those thought-provoking stories. Our managing committee, you are the pillars of Meena Foundation. Namrata Shah, Anupama Ganesh, Madhu, Sunita, my name is Netu Neenu, Nikita, a sincere gratitude for your selfless efforts. Our dynamic and energetic force, our volunteers without which, whose support we would not have really made it, Bart, Saloni, Maria, Leisha, Ronit, Zalak, Pritika, Ojaswita, Janani, Dhruv, Vanti, Naresh, thank you so much. Santosh, Nerevi, Santosh, thank you so much for your support. And most important of all, our venue partner, without which this ebook would not have been possible. A heartfelt gratitude to Xavier's Institute of Management and Research, our director, Professor Vaidya Nathan, Mr. Sayaji from his office. Professor Sandra, Professor Yogesh, Professor Kamdar, and the entire dynamic team, Mr. Martin, Mr. Gomes, Mr. Dominic, and the entire staff of uh, Xavier's who helped us with this wonderful assembly room and all the facilities that they provided to us today. And we, of course, how can we forget the yummy snacks and beverages like pineapple, shira, idlis, and upma, which you all are requested to have on your way out by Manisha Caterers, led by Chandanji. And our deepest gratitude and appreciation to Bhavna Cheda and her mom for connecting us to Professor Vaidyanathan, who has been our strongest support. Special thanks to Jamshed Dalal for sending speedy chairs. You must have seen some of us being uh, brought up these 10 uh, flight of steps. Uh, those chairs, Jamshed ji has sent it for Nina Foundation uh, event, thanks to him. And, and it's Ketna. Okay, thank you so much. So Ketna Devi joins me in thanking each one of you who have made it here for this ebook launch of Nina Foundation. I hope you had a lovely evening. And before I say Alvira, Ketna, please come on stage. So, Nikita, that's your son? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nikita? Thank you so much and have a safe journey.